Decoding a living being genome is not a utopia anymore. Human beings have achieved the sequencing of their own genetic code. A project that required hundreds of specialists from different countries working for a decade and in which around $300 million were invested. Spanish science has contributed to the sequencing of the human genome and has also led the sequencing of simpler uh, microorganism genomes. Nowadays, with the help of new technologies, this procedure can be applied to any living organism. So Spanish scientists have moved from studying more or less simple organisms, such as bacteria or insects, to decoding much more complex genomes. The sequencing of the Iberian links pose a challenge and also opportunity for Spain to become part of this exclusive club of uh, nations with the capacity of sequencing complex, large complex genomes. The Tasmanian devil and the panda are some of the animals whose genomes have been sequenced due to their being endangered species. The Iberian lynx, an emblematic feline, has just joined this select list of species that will benefit from the application of new genomic tools for the research and conservation of our natural heritage. Unfortunately, the, the main characteristic that made uh, the Iberian lynx uh, attractive for a genome sequencing project is its endangerment, its level of endangerment. Por su origen y su naturaleza, el lince ibérico ha sido probablemente siempre una especie escasa. De todas formas, sus números llegaron al punto más bajo a final del siglo XX, cuando no debía haber más allá de 100 o 200 ejemplares en la naturaleza. The species capacity to adapt to new scenarios depends on its genetic diversity, an element that in the case of this animal is seriously reduced, due mainly to the small size of its populations. These species that suffer changes in their genetic composition, their genetic variation, and those changes might compromise the species' persistence. In order to keep some hope for the future of the Iberian lynx, we have to preserve its potential for evolution and for adapting itself to environmental changes. The genome sequencing of the Iberian lynx will provide tools and resources to be able to characterize those changes in in detail, and that include focusing on uh, genetic variation that might be most relevant for the species' persistence. Different research teams are working on this project, led by the Doniana Biological Station, the National Center of Genomic Analysis, the Center of Genomic Regulation, and the Center of Biological Research. The work of these specialists represents a good example of cooperation, scientific excellence, and innovation. In the last year, we have developed a great number of new technologies, mainly based in nanotechnology and microelectronics, that has allowed us to sequence the large genomes as the, the Lynx genome, that is very similar to the human genome. The particularly challenging ones are the ones where we try to generate a reference sequence for a species that currently does not have a reference sequence. We do this by a process that we call de novo sequencing. We take uh, DNA from the animal or the species that we want to sequence, we fragment it, we make small pieces out of it. The need to be assembled to generate the continuous sequence of the genome, this is very challenging and we use a number of computational tools towards that end. Once the sequence of the genome has been assembled, then a number of tools, mostly based on computational approaches, are used to understand what is the biology encoded into the genome. Some selected specimen coming from the only wild populations of Iberian lynx, located in Doñana and the Sierra Morena mountains, will provide the biological material needed in order to sequence the species genome that will allow, among other discoveries, the identification of thousands of polymorphisms, small variations of the genome that will be used to study the species' genetic patterns and its demographic history. Drawing a detailed genetic map for this animal will mean exploring areas not visited before, sites that have suffered scarce modifications throughout its natural history and some others that may have been affected by recent erosion. The genome sequencing will allow us to characterize in detail those changes, that, those, that variation in those genes, 
and use that information to manage the species by you know, uh, diminishing the frequency of the deleterious alleles and maximizing the diversity and those, at those functional genes, we hope to increase uh, the probability of persistence of the species. The Iberian lynx has finally become a relic of a world that is disappearing. At the same time, it has become the symbol of the scientific effort applied to the knowledge of life. By managing this uh, part, this important part of the genetic variation, we will be maximizing the probabilities of the species surviving into the future. La cría en cautividad, los esfuerzos de conservación en gran medida con fondos europeos, los estudios científicos, incluyendo los genéticos y genómicos, están permitiendo una lenta recuperación. La especie va un poquito mejor. No ha salido de la gravedad, pero se está recuperando, lo cual es siempre positivo. It is about safeguarding a heritage that belongs to everyone and where amazing scientific discoveries are still hidden.